What's up guys and welcome to another Hybrid Squad Builder on my channel. Now today we're going to be using the 352 formation and the reason I'm going to be bringing you guys this Hybrid Squad Builder is because when I was doing my Road to Revival series when I was on about episode 10 slash 11, um, a lot of people said why don't you do a Hybrid Squad Builder on the squad that you've actually made for this Road to, Re Road to Revival series so that you know your other subscribers that don't watch the Road to Revival series can actually see the squad that you've been making. Now you know, I took that opportunity to actually make another video. Um, this is obviously going to be using, using the 352 formation, and this has got to be probably the most overpowered team I have ever, ever used on FIFA 13 Ultimate Team so far. Now, in my Rotary Revival series, I used this team and I won Division 1 first time unbeaten. I think I won nine games um, and drew three, so that was a pretty decent board, uh, in my opinion. And, you know, overall, it's just fantastic as a lot of over. Um, so let's get on to it. So the goalkeeper is going to be De Sanctis. He's a very, very good goalkeeper and very cheap. It cost me around 900 coins. Um, the centre-backs then, the first one is going to be this guy, uh, Boateng. And then the next one is going to be Ogbonna, who's very, very pacey, uh, 80 pace there. And then the right centre-back, the last one, is going to be this guy, Sylvester, who is very, very overpowered as well. He's got 70 pace and also 81 defending and also 84 heading. Ogbonna, 80 pace, 81 defending and also 82 heading. Don't know why he's a 79 rated card. And then Boateng here, he's got 75 pace, 77 defending and also 81 heading so probably and you know honestly like an amazing defense there that is absolutely incredible really do recommend buying it especially if you don't have many coins because this team cost me around 20 to 25k on the ps3 market and I, and I can only imagine on the xbox it'll be considerably cheaper now let's go and check out the wingers now the left mid is going to be Scherler, fantastic player really really do recommend him makes amazing runs got a bullet of a shot as well and he's also got four star skills so you can't go wrong the right mid is going to be lamela he's got five star skills as well which is absolutely incredible plays in the right midfield and he also has a left foot so you can cut in and shoot with a really really nice foot of his um you know his foot oh, it, like his shot is absolutely incredible um it's like i don't know it's so overpowered for a 77 rated card you cannot get much better than that um it feels incredible as well and you know with that five star skills as well uh it just makes the you know, with this than you know if he was like a force or skiller so i do honestly prefer playing with lamela better than Sherla. but let's go and check out the first two center fence mid down the first one is going to be kadira and the next one is going to be this guy cambiasso if you guys have known uh well been on my channel for a while you'll have known that i absolutely love cambiasso he scores so many goals um kadira as well he's a pretty good defender not on the same standard as cambiasso in my opinion but he still does a very good job and is there to link with the center attack mid and also the left mid and the center back now the center attack mid this guy is absolutely sensational scored so many goals for me on my road to revival series and one that i think is you know probably one of my most favorite center attack mids on the game for me he slots perfectly in the center attack mid role um he really really does sort of suit into that position because he's got four star skills and also four star weak foot he can shoot very well he's got an amazing passing amazing dribbling so he really is sort of the worst nightmare for these sort of defenders that you're going to be coming up, coming up against in division one and any uh, any other game that you're going to be playing against so the strikers are going to be Higuain and then also Soldado now both of these players are absolutely amazing I usually played Soldado on the left hand side um, mainly because I kind of felt like he would link better with Scherler um, you know I kind of do rely on Higuain to score um, you know f probably a few more goals but Soldado has an incredible shot um, he doesn't have that much pace in the world but then so does Higuain he only has 78 pace so actually Soldado has more pace than him uh, which is kind of crazy because it does feel like Higuain has a bit more pace than Soldado Soldado only has three star skills and Higuain has four star skills so if you are kind of one of them players that likes to do Ronaldo chops and stuff like that Higuain is probably more of your player but I'm not going to say anything that's going to back down uh, Soldado because he is an incredible player and I actually do prefer playing with Soldado rather than Higuain just because he is a bullet of a shot and really can sort of feel like one of them holding strikers that can sort of you know get into them position which causes so many problems for the defenders but that's going to be the end of the video guys if you have enjoyed it then please drop a like um, sadly there won't actually be any goals because all of the goals we're from my Road to Revival series, so I'm kind of just showing you guys this, you know, hybrid here. Um, it's very, very cheap, 25k, and one that I think all of you will be able to afford if you don't, um, you know, then you may... You know, might, might want to just, you know, try and get some coins off your mate or something like that uh, because this team is very, very good. And if you don't win many games of this, I'm sorry, but, you know, there must be something going incredibly wrong. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, then please drop a like. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and peace. Thank <laughs> you.